Hi, this is Luke from Yumi Events, and today we are. I'm taking you on a trip or a vlog on a baby sprinkle that I'm doing tomorrow. So it's a lounge set up for 30 people, and I think about two cocktail tables, a tent, and a welcome board, and a welcome. Yeah, welcome stand. Yeah, welcome stand and uh, a backdrop. Like, yeah, so everything is completely new. Um, I am doing a first of everything again. It's my first lounge setup, um, a cocktail as well. The client only said to me, she's having another baby girl and she wants it to be disgustingly pink. So, that's exactly what we're going to give her. Okay, so I'm busy looking around because I have a client coming soon to pick up his order. And so let me actually formally introduce this, right? So I decided that it would be best because I used to get a whole lot of um, DMs of people asking me if I do floral bouquet service. And I thought, okay, surely for like by the 10th person who asked this is something that i need to start doing because there's a demand for it and people are coming to me for it you know so i um have been doing private sales um over the last year and i did like uh, my first bridal bouquet um last december and i mean there's there's, there's a vlog around that but i i'm not gonna put it up this year because um, oh, I'm not going to put it out yet um, because actually there's a lot of things that I didn't get over like in terms of that event and um, yeah, like it was a bad event I had to refund my client um, <sighs> let's leave it as that so there's a bridal bouquet um, that I did and I actually wanted to formally introduce that in December that I now do floral um, bouquets but the way that whole thing happened, I didn't feel okay with my first um, product out there with a bouquet that, not that I wasn't happy with it or the client wasn't, it's just the whole experience of the wedding that I did, um, that it didn't go well. So I don't want to always look at that bouquet and have that memory. I think I will eventually get over it, but yeah. So we'll, I'll share that vlog, it's such a lovely vlog, um, but yeah towards the end i obviously need to talk about what happened which i'm not ready to talk about yeah so now i'm officially um introducing this i think by the time you see this video um you would have seen the bouquet um but yeah so this is the bouquet that i'm doing <laughs> i want to pick it up like the whole time but it's heavy so i want to just explain first before i pick it up right so I'm going to be doing um, the arrangements of 50 stems, 100 stems, 150 stems, 200 stems. And I think I'm going to cap it at that because more than 200 stems, uh, I don't know guys, like I don't know if you need that much roses in your life. Um, I mean, sure you do, but like in terms of like actually putting it together, it is very hard. So this one is 200 so I'm happy that my first order is obviously the one to the max, right? So this was 200 stems for 2.5 and um, so I also think I need to explain the difference between the prices or like the quality of the flowers, right? If you're going to go for red roses, those are expensive to get, right? So those will always be expensive if you like um, email me and inquire that. Those just always expect it to be over 2000 Um Obviously, depending on how many you want. It's a stunner. Smells good. Love the wrapping paper. And uh, I could also do that. Um, still trying to figure out the product line guys it's heavy but it's funny so I'm still trying to figure out the, the product line around this these were 200 and this was 2.5 for red 
So you could still have 200 stems, maybe for pink. Let me show you. So you still can have this for 200 stems and it could be less than 2.5. Um, because the quality of these roses and these ones are completely different. These are considered premium, the red ones. And these are like ordinary, like normal. They're still stunning though, like I personally love them. But then again, roses are the most premium, um, one of the most premium rose um, flowers, right? So even if you got these, like there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, I think I, I still, I still need to find my feet with this because, obviously, this is new. Um, but if people are buying, then obviously I'll offer um, to what I can do. I think that's the most important thing that you should do if you're in a business. I think if you ask for three hundred, I don't know how it's gonna look. Like I'm worried about that. Okay, cool. The client is gonna come pick it up, so he's getting this for his girlfriend. It wouldn't be the first time he's buying from me, but yeah, I think I explained that like I've done private sales. Okay, so this is what I also got. These are called pony, pink ponytails, right? It's more of like a pampas dry flower sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna be using it tomorrow. I got two of these. Um, I'm gonna be using it tomorrow for the 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 lounge party. I think we're not using much flowers um, because we're only gonna need it for um, might be my client, not yet. We're not gonna use much flowers because firstly I I need to work on how much flowers I buy for an event because I spend a lot on flowers and. Some of it just stays around my apartment. Um, I end up giving up some, giving away some and stuff. So it, basically it, it doesn't make financial sense. That's why, right? So I need to buy flowers enough for that event. So that's what I'm trying to do. I got two of these. Um, these are gonna fit into like um, smaller vases with a small opening. And then I got baby breaths. Um, well, they're called chips, but yeah, baby breaths as well. I'm gonna spray paint these to pink and I got three of them. I got three of these and it's very fitting for a baby shower because um, they symbolize pure innocence, they symbolize babies and it's cute man, especially when you spray, it's, it's cute white, I like it white. I've worked with white for a baby shower but like now it would be my first time changing the color to pink so i think these would work so i only got three um yeah i got these um these are a spare in case i would need to fill anything um but ideally i bought it for myself for my place because i thought they were cute and then i got um pennies eucalyptus leaves i think everyone knows them as eucalyptus leaves but um, there we call them like at the flower market we call them pennies so this is for my shower so I also bought this for my place this is for my shower and so I just put everything here so yeah so I got these printed I don't even think it shows right I had actually got it for my client in December um, I was gonna gift well I did gift them with the bridal I mean, I don't really gift them. Um, they paid for bridal bouquet. I just went for a more expensive bouquet as a gift. And then the printer, the printing company that I used, like, like I'm just not happy. So this is what happened. And it has like a whole um, message at the back. And like, I'm not happy. I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm just not happy. At the same printing company, I ordered business cards. Um, I was not happy. <laughs> I was not happy, but I like that it's matte. I think my thing, my cards for my floral cards is going to be black matte. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to introduce the floral bouquet service as like 
a different name i think it would be nicer as a different name as opposed to yemi events um obviously yemi, yemi events would work great huh? because i mean yemi events would work great in terms of like branding hi okay are you gonna come in Okay, cool. Okay, um, let me just get out now. Okay. Sure. So the last thing is this, which you can't see, but I just picked this up as well. It's a welcome board that's written, welcome to the Nkambule's baby sprinkle and the date and thank you for celebrating with this with us. But you'll see everything tomorrow. I'm gonna try vlog. I might leave this camera, right? I love the quality, everything. But I really need to get that lens um, to, to go around with that camera. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Let me just go get um, my client to come get this and then, yeah, I'll see you later. setup is gonna be Welcome board. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but if you stick around for long, you'll see everything. Um, I think maybe I'll start stressing that we don't have our stuff together by 10 because ideally I want this to be done by the latest 11 so there's just an hour of everything of by 11 I want to like clear up and um, my team and I leave <laughs> 